welcome to the Rugby League Under 19s European Championships here at the Mackey Sports Centre. I'm Mike Pullen, this is Balkan League Insider. It's a beautiful day here in the Serbian capital and we're expecting some beautiful rugby league. First up, Serbia versus England. Coming up next, we've got the match between Ireland and Scotland here at the Mackish uh, Sports Centre. Boys are already warming up and we're looking forward to a good game. The highlight of the first day's play was the dramatic Ireland-Scotland match, ending 30 points to 18 to the Scots. Other matches produced predictable results considering the level of development across the continent with England, France and Wales registering convincing victories over Serbia, Italy and Ukraine respectively. This tournament brings teams from England, France, Italy, Ireland, Scotland, Ukraine and Wales to Serbia, showcasing some of the continent's best emerging talent and of course showcasing Belgrade to them. We asked the squads about their first impressions of the Serbian capital. How are you enjoying Belgrade? Are you liking the hospitality in the city? Yeah, real nice uh, since we've been here. A bit of trouble getting here, but uh, you know, foot border and things like that. But uh, since we've been here, you know, we're, we're really focused. We're, we're enjoying it, enjoying spending time with each other um, and bonding and, and things like that. So. Uh, yeah, we'll just take every game as it comes from now. Yeah, the hospital is great. We must have to say a massive thank you to the shell coach um, from Red Star Belgrade. He's been superb. He's, he's, you know, he's got everything for us. We're really enjoying it. We're enjoying the sunshine, the party atmosphere over here. You can hear the music in the background. So, yeah, yeah. you know, we're looking forward to, to the rest of the week. We've, got, we haven't really, we've only had two days here, so yeah, yeah. we're going to go out and do a little bit of sightseeing tomorrow. Get to see the city a bit more. And um, yeah, we're having a good time so far. Yeah, really good mate, like um, the boys haven't been into the square yet, we only arrived late last night so obviously we trained and then um, we had um, the meet this morning had a coffee, we've been for a walk and stuff and it's really nice, we're really we are just happy to be here and be here for as long as we can obviously. So you know you got your, you have a lighter day tomorrow, a bit of recovery and then I suppose back into the sessions? Yeah, so tomorrow we're just going to swim in the morning, um, followed by, I'm giving the guys a day off, family over, see your family. Um, and then we'll meet, have a meeting about half past five tomorrow and then we'll switch back on then for, leading up to the England game. So we'll train on Tuesday. Yeah, well, it was a long, long, long travel to come here because we, we, we came uh, by bus. So it's a long travel. Uh, we take a lot of rest, so we enjoy uh, Belgrade. It's a beautiful town. Yeah, tonight you can relax a little bit, some yeah. more recovery. Yeah, pool. Sure. We go to the pool yeah, yeah. in the morning after we train uh, in the afternoon. Yeah. And uh, we train again um, the two days after. On Tuesday? Ma maybe we, uh, we, we will have uh, some visit about Belgrade. Belgrade is always a. Uh, it's, it's always a pleasure for me to come to Belgrade and I hope the, the guys can enjoy as well because it's a wonderful city, wonderful people in, in Belgrade and uh, it's always good to be here enjoying now. It's summer so they can enjoy even more. Are you happy with your Belgrade so far with the of the city? Oh, absolutely mate, yeah. yeah. Uh, the, the, the boys are enjoying the cultural experience as well. Uh, we're all staying in the same accommodation, so you know they're making friends with other teams, and that's what the sport and rugby league is all about. Great, thanks a lot, Alan. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we're going to um, we've got Italy and France are going to be playing on this pitch, and over the way, we've already got Ukraine and Wales is underway.
second day saw Serbia bounce back from defeat to England to record its first win of the tournament with an expected victory over Ukraine, while France easily overcame Scotland and Ireland got the better of Italy. The result of the day was probably England's demolition of Wales, with this Welsh squad expected to perform much better than the 48-4 scoreline suggests. Finals day saw Italy beat the courageous and very inexperienced Ukraine team, who will probably take the most away from this tournament. Serbia recorded a truly historic victory by beating Ireland to take fifth place. A great Welsh performance and a poor Scottish performance resulted in a resounding victory for the Welsh to secure third place in the tournament. And in a fantastically entertaining and nail-biting final, France became the under-19s champions of Europe, beating England 26-24. Congratulations on winning the championship. In 2007, European okay, Championship in Belgrade, under 18, we had Tony Gigo played for, played for France, 2009, Morgan Escaré, and now you. Do you think you can make it to that? Thank you very much. I don't know if I could do like Tony Gigo or Escaré, but now, today, we are the champions. It's the most important for me. It's a big step since I've been working hard. And now, it's the recompense of everything. <rire> c'est la première fois que je gagne, je gagne une titre 
et ça a été vraiment un match très difficile. Je remercie les Anglais de nous avoir fait, avoir fait un très beau match aussi. Ça a été un, un très beau match et ça a été vraiment très très difficile pour nous et tous les joueurs. Mais ce qui compte aujourd'hui, on a vraiment été une équipe soudée. Et je pense que c'est ça qui nous a fait gagner le, le, la coupe aujourd'hui. C'est vraiment, on était, on était plus qu'une équipe, on était une famille. Et, et c'est ce, que, ce qui nous a fait gagner cette médaille, cette coupe. Et, et ouais, en champion. Euh, merci beaucoup. Euh, euh, tout présenté, tout nom et équipe. Yes. Uh, by your number or? No, no, your, your name, uh, your team and... Uh... Yeah, my, my name is Corentin uh, Rey. And... Uh, <laughs> my name is Corentin Rey. Uh, the player uh, with uh, all uh, the friends and uh, Lesignan. Avec Lesignan. Lesignan. Toulouse. Rapaka, Zispaka. Oh, il est là, Catalan. Catalan. Ok. Merci beaucoup. Merci. Et merci. Balkan League insider Stefan Nikats Nikolic managed to capture the tournament from another angle, going behind the scenes, chatting with the staff and stars, and bringing us some unique insight. What do you think about Serbia? No, no, no. 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 No, no, Osam ekipa, nismo, to je šest ekipa bilo. Veš, pa oni, to je peti, onda je Eurokelti su popunili tu šestu ekipu, to je bilo mešavina, ne znam, Čeha, Rusa, to je s nje Rusi imali ekipu, Česi, Velšani, neki Srbi koji nisu ušli u ekipu i tako. Ruse smo dobili, brate, jedva nešto, baš je bilo kidanje. I prvi put da je neka srpska ekipa dobila Ruse. I to je kao bilo ultra iznenađenje. Onda smo tih Eurokelta izgubili, ja mislim, 22-22, brate. I u zadnje minuto ovako šutiraju na nas i dva Srbina preko puta i mi kao idemo na Srbe, kao pustit će nas valjda oni da pobedimo, brate. I Brkić meni daje loptu i ja na Srbina, brate, i on me obori i kraju takmice. A Englezi su nas odvarili jedno, 56-0, brate, ali su imali dvojicu. Znači, James Donaldson sad igra za Hal KR, Greg McNally sad igra za Lee Centurion, se igraju za White Heaven, nemam pojma. Ajmo Srbina International i nekako Junior International, jer ne znam da se nekako restrikti moj akses tu. But being the liaison officer for the Welsh team, I think that might also help. You kept the, kept on the side in the first game against Ukraine, probably been one of the best players. Uh, broke your jaw. Yes, yeah. Talk us through your feelings since uh, knowing that you have a fracture till now on the field. How did you feel uh, during the game? Pretty devastated, really. I mean, during the game, uh, felt a bit of pain, but uh, nothing to, to, to stop me from carrying on. So just kept going, the adrenaline uh, kept going throughout the game. But uh, as soon as I come off, you know, there's something wrong. So uh, X-ray showed up as uh, two cracks going through my jaw. So quite devastated. I wasn't out there on the pitch today to, to help the lads out. But it's, uh, it's rugby league. That's what happened. Yeah. So your coaching staff gave you sort of another role. Yes. Yeah, so how, do, how did you like that? Do you think? Obviously, you're very young, but do you think? Yeah. Uh, going on to, to a career, do you think you could do some coaching? Or? Yeah, possibly. I've enjoyed it. I mean, the coaches have been good to me and they've, they've, they've let me join in and have a look on the video review of the last game and have some input and chip in. So it's been good to, to have that sort of role and to join in with that. But I uh, definitely would have preferred to have been out there today playing and having yeah. a different sort yeah. of input. Of course. When I started coaching, I think uh, that I really progressed as a player also, so I think that that yeah, could be really good for Yeah, it gives you that sort of yeah, different yeah. insight into Okay, so a few things about your career. Where, where have you played and uh, what, have you, what have been your biggest successes as a player? Uh, well, I've started off playing since a young age for amateur. Um, played at St. Helens in England from 14 until 19. Uh, won the grand final there with them. Uh, we went the, up my first season with them, we went unbeaten. Uh, played a few games there and I've recently moved to Rochdale Hornets in the Championship in England. Um, so looking forward to get going there soon. So you're playing uh, there for the senior team, first yes, team? Yes, oh, yeah. Seniors, Amazing, yeah. really yeah. good. Do you think some of the boys can make it uh, professionally? Yeah, definitely, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Hey. Oh, yeah. Two cracks. Yeah. That's where um, my wisdom tooth. Yeah, Wisdom tooth has like drove into my jaw and uh, caused two cracks in it. Yeah. You need to get your teeth Yeah, I'm going to have to have the tooth removed and then um, a plate put in to yeah. stabilise it. But it's better than it being cleanly broken, otherwise it'd have been wired. Did you get antibiotics? Yeah, I've got antibiotics and painkillers, so it seems to be controlling it at the minute. That's great. Wish it a plate. Yeah. Had, like, a good... Nice.
After all their hard work entertaining the fans, the squads finally have a chance to relax and sample the local food and culture here at the Ada Ciganlia Lakeside Resort. Of all the teams selected the best 13 of the tournament, but Gary McMahon of England picked out his best of the best. Welcome back to Sporting League Insider. I'm here with the uh, Serbian head coach Neil Bjoritz. Neil, congratulations. Thanks. One Thank loss, you, two uh, wins, that's what you said after the first game. It seems a long time ago now. It was, yeah. Boys have done uh, really well. Yeah, that was our goal. Our goal. Our goal was to, uh, you know, after the first one, win, win the two. So, uh, the goal was set early, and it's one that has actually happened. Yeah, and you can re we really saw progress as well, maybe. Oh, definitely. In the, in the group. I, I think our last game was probably our best game uh, against good competition. But uh, we cut out our errors, and we put on a lot of our plays. And we scored, we scored a lot of good tries from our set pieces, which is... And, and also as well, I suppose the, the boys can take what they've gained, gained from this time in, in the national team back to their squads, to their club teams. And that was the goal. That's the goal. To, to develop, we, we had a couple of uh, heritage listed players, but only a few, four or five. Um, the goal was to get the local boys back and taking it back to club land and now just progressing throughout the year. So that was the goal and hopefully that'll happen. Definitely. Well, I think it's been a successful campaign and uh, we hope to uh, see you with the, the, the Serbian young team and the national team for a long time. Hopefully, I will too. Thank you.